Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Good day, students. So this is a tutorial about how are you going to grade using the IGS template. So IGS is your individual grading system. So this will help me manage in order to determine who really did help in your um, projects, in your outputs per week. And it will also be like a term contribution rating. So how do we do this? IGS. So for the IGS, you have to score for each criterion within 1 to 10. So with each of the criteria presented, we have 10 items here. Attendance of meetings, quality of presentation of meetings. So attendance of virtual meetings. No? And then active participation during discussion, respect for team mem members' opinions, ability to meet deadlines, Contribution to project execution, contribution to, pro to report writing, leadership and initiative, creative approach, and knowledge and understanding of projects. So with those 10 criteria, you have to, 10 criteria, you have to rate your classmate within 1 to 10, where 10 is the highest and 1 is the lowest. So the passing grade or rating is 7, okay? Or Yeah, it's 7. Then, no member can have exactly the same score cor correspondingly for all items within any member of the team. Well, if ever there are um, students that have the same score, there will be a note here that will reflect that you have to review your scores because some members have the same score. So, your goal is to ensure that there is uh, the this cell here remains white or remains blank then those gray cells should be filled out so these gray cells should be filled out so your names should be again in cap in alphabetical order okay so the a's first until uh, and the last ones are the z's and then automatically whatever i place there for instance is the this is student one so automatically this is for student one so on and so forth now as you notice there are colors here these serve as the codes of color for each student so for student one is assigned as red and for student two that's assigned as yellow as orange and the third student is yellow so on and so forth so in this case these are in gray cell mean to say you are to put here your ratings of one to ten so for example i am student one and I am, um, all the values here are all my ratings. So, meaning to say, question, ma'am, am I going to rate myself? Yes, you have to rate also yourself. So, for example, I am student one, and these are all my ratings. When I rate, I don't rate from, um, from left to right. Instead, I will rate, I won't rate from left. To right instead I will rate up to down so meaning to say I am going to rate each of the members up to down so it's vertical okay so for example in terms of attendance of meetings yes I'm always present I'm always giving quality presentation so on and so forth so maybe that's a 9 8 10 10 10 10 10 and 10 and then the next one is student number two so let's just say the orange one is assigned to student number two so for student two i will rate her attendance of meetings she's not always present so i've just given eight seven nine ten so meaning to say your rating should be up to down or vertical all right so that's how you're going to do it then the next student let's say for example i am student two my ratings will be on the second column so all in the second column still going from up to down so it's still vertical then i am student number three so i will be on the third column i will be assigned to the third column so it's not the typical um, grading wherein you do it from left to right or horizontal instead it's up to down therefore after all the members have graded these scores are then solved using a formula and the 9.7 here will be reflected for student one so that means all these scores are the grades or the ratings of student one by all the members 
So since you are only um, up to five to six or four to six teams, sorry, four to six team members, then to just leave the uh, last two columns if you're just five or the last three columns if you're just four. What else? Um, there are times that the review scores will appear. So I'll show you. So I'm going to show an example wherein the cell here is not blank. You need to say there's an error. Uh, more likely, there are students that have the same scores. So if that's the case, the percentage contribution here will not appear. So therefore, not giving a value to your um, individual grades. So if that's the case, you have to check. So the one way to check is, as you notice, for example, here, student 4 has all 10 by 4 students. So it will really come up to an error. So what you're going to do, um, I'll give this task to the leader. So you just unhide this area. So once you unhide it, your goal is to ensure that the zeros here should be kept as zero. So if there are parts that are one, then that those are the columns that you have to review. So this is column one, two, four, five, seven, and nine. So that means, so this one, these are the columns that you have to check. So A and B, A and C, A and E, B and C, B and E, C and E. So if that's the case, you are to make sure that they are not they are different. So here you don't you do, you should not put nine here because the column uh, D or the fourth column is the same with this one. So you have to change the position. So you might put the nine above. So putting that differently. Then here you may put nine here. And then just put 9 here so long as they are not of the same row because it's very rare. So you just keep the 1 with 10. And then as you notice, there's no 1 anymore. So as you notice, if there are already no 1s anymore, therefore, the contribution score will appear. And ta -da! Therefore, as you notice, the highest rating is student 4 with green code meaning he will get the 100% so if for example I will give 4.5 here then student 4 will get the 4.5 so please do not manipulate the data please be honest in grading and make sure that the black and white part in the right side remains blank else you have to repeat rating because there are students with the same score that is the tip that I provided a while ago just ensure that they are of not they are not of the same row or of the same column and what else if there are only six members leave the the last rows empty instead of rating per column horizontally you are going to rate it vertically as illustrated a while ago and if you have questions please don't be afraid to ask so for week two you are only to provide one igs um one IGS only for week two. The same with the next week's one weekly individual grading system output only per week. So once again, the very critical here is to ensure that the white cell here remains white and ensure that the percentage contribution will show up here and all the members will be able to score in the gray cell. And again, do rate vertically not horizontally so that's it that's the individual grading system and i do hope that you'll be able to familiarize this because this will be the iegs that we're going to make for the entire um, semester thank you very much for watching and i hope that you understood the system god bless